Violet Japan, a magical place that feels like a fairy tale where deer bow to you with the same respect as the Japanese people. In this episode, we'll take a secret train for just five American dollars to the enchanting Nara Deer Park. We made it to Nara! We'll find out why these deer have learned to bow to you and check out the fastest mochi pounder in the world. Nara is easily accessible from both Osaka and Kyoto. We took it as a day trip from Kyoto because it's only 28 miles south. So don't be intimidated, it is super accessible to reach. But if you want to do it in style, make sure to plan ahead to get aboard the amazing Aoniyoshi Limited Express train. It's part of the Kintetsu line and it's surprisingly only 600 yen. I was amazed to hear that because it is seriously a luxury train experience. They make it affordable though, so it encourages travel between Kyoto and Nara. Just remember, it does require some planning though, because there's only a few of these specific trains that run throughout the day. So make sure to book the right one to have this magical experience. It feels like Anastasia or the Hogwarts Express or something. This is an extremely beloved and unique train in Japan. The train's name actually comes from classical poetry linked to Nara, and it features decorations that celebrate its history, along with comfy lounge sofas and a trendy restaurant and bar. Alright, let's go get some snacks at the bar. A full food menu, actually. Keep in mind, this is also an express train, so the journey takes only about 45 minutes, but we really wished it was longer. So we ordered uh, a couple of things. These really pretty butter cookies. They have pretty gold little seal on them. I like it, actually. Wine, beer, some pork buns. And it has a cute little um, logo on it. The best pork dumpling I've had in a while. And they have a sandwich and uh, coffee. <laughs> That was not long enough. I didn't even have enough time to drink my wine. Wine spilled everywhere, almost just got stuck on the train. Went back in for more photos. You'll arrive at Nara Station, which is just a quick walk to the main event, Nara Park. It's also home of Todaiji Temple, one of the most famous Buddhist temples in the country. Nara was the capital of Japan during what's called the Nara period from 710 to 794. In Nara, deer are revered as sacred messengers of the gods, and they've roamed freely for centuries. They're linked to the Shinto deity Take Mikazuchi, who is believed to have arrived riding a white deer, and this led to very strict protections. It used to be punishable by death if you harmed a deer. This reflects the deep respect for them. Today, these laws ensure that the deer roam freely in Nara Park, symbolizing peace and harmony while embodying the region's rich cultural heritage. This makes them national treasures, and they're highly domesticated, allowing you to truly connect with them safely. They're actually so accustomed to human interaction that they often approach visitors, and there's around 1,200 of them today in the park. After about two weeks in Japan, I can proudly say this is the thing that we remember the most. It really makes you wonder, living in the U.S., how different the wildlife interactions are and how they shape our understanding of nature and community. This is the most surreal thing that I have ever seen. Literally getting waters from a convenience store and look. They're just like among people here. It's so cool. Mingling around with people at random is just dear. They just around the streets in souvenir shops. Look how many deer there are. These guys are just so kind. It is so magical. I've never pet a deer before. You wouldn't expect all these deer to be in the middle of Japan. You can touch them. They bow to you apparently if you give them biscuits. So we're gonna go see. Oh my god, look at him. Look at him stretching. He likes a belly rub this one. Yeah, that's a good boy. You're beautiful as well. You can purchase special Shika Senbei or deer crackers specially made for them. Here are the deer cookies or biscuits and supposedly they'll bow for you. Let's find out. Depictions of people feeding senbei or rice crackers to the deer appear in art as early as 1791. How do they taste? Really bland. They should put some seasoning on them or something for these guys. They're really boring. 
Seasoning would be a terrible idea as feeding them anything other than their special biscuits is prohibited. Human food can harm their health, so it's crucial to stick to what's safe for them. And for the best part, why do these deer bow? Well, number one, they've learned to ask for food from visitors, but their charming behavior reflects their deep connection with the people, showing how they've adapted to a life in a city where they're loved and revered. Bow. Uh-uh. Bow. Good. Good. Very good. He did it! Bow. Arigato gozaimasu! Oh, Sumimasen! Bisketto ai kara desu ka? Arigato gozaimasu! It truly feels like something right out of a fairy tale walking around Nara Park. It is absolutely stunning and seeing these majestic creatures is something you really have to experience yourself. Hi buddy! Oh my gosh, look at this deer just right in the water. Oh, he was trying to come after me. Oh my god. Oh, sweet. Hey, buddy. They're so gentle. Well, some are kind of aggressive. But... Yeah, we got we got a couple that weren't too fond of us, but... One almost, when he bit my, uh, my dress. Easy. Oh, hey! Oh, he was hungry. You want her belongings? You want her stuff? Hey! Hey! You can't have it. Hey! Hey! Oh! Sorry, sorry. I don't want to scare you. I wish we had more crackers. We gave them all away. See if you can give him a hug. Have a hug. <laughs> There's deer poop everywhere, we should mention. Yeah. <laughs> Just walking around amongst people, chilling. Excuse me. Everyone just trying to give you biscuits all day. You're sick of it. And while in Nara, you have to check out this famous mochi place with the fastest mochi pounders in the world. Eh, mochi gome. So we walked all the way here. We missed the mochi pounding. As you can see, there's a huge crazy line. Well, it's really gooey. It was warm. So let's try it. Hmm. It's really good. It's interesting. This is ranks among the highest and coolest stuff that we have ever done. Because normally in California, you get so excited to see like a couple of deer and then they run away fast. But here, they're not afraid of humans. That is really something special. Yeah, if you want a special experience, come to Nara. I hope you loved this video. If you're planning a trip to Japan though, you're gonna wanna check out our Tokyo video. We do some crazy things and visit some wild cafes. And for a traditional and delicious video, check out our Kyoto video next. In Okinawa, prepare, we're going there tomorrow. Trust me, you are gonna wanna see these blue amazing waters. So please like and subscribe to stay tuned. And if you've made it this far, drop me three deer emoji, just so I know. I know it is hot in Japan. I am sweating like you couldn't believe. How about you? Oh, that's why you're catching some shade. I, I'm doing the same thing under this tree. Oh, guys, it's been real good. Hey, oh dear, pray a drop of golden sun.